How can I help you? I'm just checking out these artifacts. They tell me you're the expert. Ah, uh, you could say that. They're beautiful. Where is this one from? The Bobo Ashanti tribe, present day Ghana, 19th century. For real? And what about this one? That one's from the Edo people of Benin, 16th century. Now, tell me about this one. Also from Benin, 7th century. Fula tribe, I believe. Nah. I beg your pardon. It was taken by British soldiers in Benin, but it's from Wakanda, and it's made out of vibranium. guys welcome to boxing blog center the home of nigerian african boxing and please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe right now and also go to the notification bell icon click it and sell it all so i'm dropping you banger a new exclusivity will definitely be notified the onto the bronze bomba water has doubled down on his Edo root, you know, is of course reiterated that he's an Edo blood, a son of the sword, beating his chest with pride. Wilder, listen, Wilder is one of those guys that I never imagined could be this culture. Wilder, in a recent interview that he conducted, he said, Listen, I'm a warrior. I want to die in that ring. I want to kill and get killed. I don't care what happens to me afterwards. Wada is speaking like an Edo warrior of the great Benin Empire. And that's something that is rare to see these days. I told you guys that Wada reminds me of Asuru. Guys will say, no, no, no. I mean, yeah, Asuru was a great warrior. Don't compare him to Wada. But the way he speaks, do you know what happened to Asuru? Do you know what he did during the 1897 war? We're going to teach you guys history. Let's get to it, guys. Uh, you are a film studier. You you do feel, study the sport of boxing. Um, I do. I do study the sport of boxing, but uh, I'm, I'm nowhere near um, Malik. You know, that's that just what he do. You know, what I mean, he he's a he's a master at it, and all day long, you know, that's his TV screen. You know, what I'm saying that's his that's his coffee in the morning. You know, what I mean, that's his walk in the park. That's his uh, that's his playground. When it's a nice sunny day, that's all he do. You know, if he ain't on the gym, he's he's film study. And you know, uh, I do I do my thing here and there. You know, but uh, when they're dealing with fighters. You know, I don't really, I don't, I'm not a hardcore studier. I don't really study my fights like that because I know I'm a, I'm a special individual. You know, mm -hmm. when they get in the ring with me, I know they're not going to fight like they did that next opponent. I know they're not going to take this, the, the appropriate measures uh, that they took with that opponent that they had in the ring with me. I'm totally different. Just like with sparring partners, you can get as many sparring partners as you want, you know, and I, I'm just blessed. I just look at it as, I'm blessed and I'm highly favored. My grandma always told me years ago that I was anointed by God. And okay. uh, each and every day, you know, uh, 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 of my adult life, I, I, you know, I see what she's talking about. You know, it ain't no, it ain't no coincidence why I, out of all these fighters, take the most heat. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? When I only do nothing but provide my greatness, as I've stated in the beginning. It ain't no coincidence why they so eager to try to break me. You know, they so easy to try to break me mentally, physically, emotionally, but you can't. You can't when, when I'm chosen. I've been touched. I'm anointed. And once you know your purpose in life, it's hard to break that. My mind is made up. I'm a warrior at heart. You know, they go back and, and understand me as I unfold my 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 history and learn my roots. I'm on the Ed Ed Edo people. We're warriors. You know, my tribe is the Edu, Edu, uh, Edu people. 
we're warriors, baby. We're born to be warriors. We're royalty. We're fearless. That's why you can see me under so much influence in that last fight, but he still can't get me out. I may fall, but he get back up. And when you do, you're gonna have to continue to do that. Why I fight off of my shield. I'm willing to I'm willing to die in that ring. God forbid it's for happening, but if it does, then so be. I have everything organized and, and, and ready to go if something happens to, to, to Deontay Wilder. I don't want people don't have to worry about my family. They don't have to worry about nothing about me. They don't have to, you know, you got people uh, trying to save my life when they don't even know me. You don't know me. You don't even care about me. So stop pretending. Stop acting like you do. Because Guys, you heard it from Dion to the Bronze, Bumba Water himself. He doubled down on East Edo origin. Very proud of his people. He also spoke about we being royalty. And it is a fact. A lot of people know that Edo is a tribe in Edo state. People don't know. Because the first time he said Edo tribe, people were saying we're part of Edo state. There was no Edo state until the year 1991. Edo has been in existence for more than 10,000 years. So, let me lecture some people right here. The Edo people of Benin are an Edoid ethnic group. Primarily found in Edo State, Nigeria. They speak the Edo language, is where I understand people. I don't speak Benin or Benin. Benin is a city. My dad is not from Benin City, which is Oredo. My dad is from Iokorio. That's another different area. So you don't call people uh Benin if they are not if they are not from you know uh the city or the you know. So you don't name people after a city, just like naming all your people, uh, calling Yorubas or your every Yoruba in Lagos, both Yorubas in uh, Oshun and Ife, call them all your people. You don't do that. That's the thing. I mean, it's, it's lack of uh, the it's a part of the uh, educational uh, system failure in Nigeria. So, I was like, like I was saying. Edo or Benin people and an, an, an Edo uh, group primarily found in Edo state, Nigeria. They speak the Edo language and are the descendants of the founders of the Benin Empire. They are closely related to other ethnic groups that speak Edo languages such as the Esan, the Afemai, the Isoko, and the Urobo. The name Benin and Bini or Bini is a Portuguese corruption, ultimately from the word Ubini meaning beautiful, which came into use during the reign of Oba, uh, our king Awai uh, the Great, in 1440. Ubini in an ancient Edo word meaning beautiful people was used to describe the royal administrative center or city or capital proper of the Edo kingdom Edo. Edo Ubini was later corrupted to Benin by the mist ethnicity living together at center and further corrupted to Benin around 14. 85 when the Portuguese began trade relations with Obaiwari. So when Deontay Wada said that we are royalty, this is what it means. Edo people have one of the richest dress cultures on the African continent. Their fashion accessories holds royalty and typically includes red beads, body marks, bangles, anklets, raffia work, and so on. You know, the fact that Nigeria has destroyed the educational system, they've just removed history from the curriculum, doesn't mean we don't know ourselves. You know, only foreigners call us Benin or whatsoever. I mean, Benin, Benin is, you know, has a meaning, Benin doesn't. And by the way, let's go, let's go to the underwater and his mentality and his mindset. By the way, uh, the Aesan, the Afemai, the Isoko, the Ora, are all Edoid people. They speak the Edoid languages. Um, of course, their forefathers migrated from the ancient city of Benin, just like my forefathers, you know, the same way, you know, migrated from Oredo to Orion. What a migration. So let's get to it right now. The Under the Bronze Bamba Wada is a very spiritual minded person. You know, why talking about the Great Benin Empire? And he said, listen, my tribe are warriors, definitely. He wanted to die in the ring, okay? Uh, reminds me of um, 
Asura the Great. Like I said, Asura the Great was an Edo warrior of Great Benin Kingdom who defended uh, uh, the Benin Kingdom during the invasion. Okay, during invasion in 1897, uh, the British invasion for sure, which was uh, supported by a lot of African, uh, you know, people. Uh, maybe neighboring tribes as well to help destroy Benin Kingdom because Benin was ruling that part of the world at that time and a lot of jealousy, you know, where it is right here. So now we have Nigeria. Nigeria, you know, became a country of the north and the south was amalgamated in uh, 1914. We got, our go, we got our independence in 1960. A lot of people don't even know who Asura is. A lot of people don't know who who the the guys, the people that def, that 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 fought the, the Western imperialism, you know, proud to Nigeria becoming a country or becoming a thing, proud to the amalgamation. Because Nigeria, uh, the, the system in Nigeria we have right now favors very few people. You know, those people had no say in the past. You know, they weren't even civilized until the British came and gave them civilization. You know, they hated every other people who, who, who don't have the same ideology. And it's sad in Nigeria right now. That's why me, I always come here to talk about unity of Nigeria because this is what we have right now. So Deontay, what are doubling down? On East Edo, Edo roots is just something amazing to see. We wish our brother nothing but the best come July 24th. Of course, some of the things you say, I might not agree with, but believe you me, I'm supporting this brother the way I support our brother Joshua, the way I support our brother Rafa Kwejuri, the way I support our brother Efia Jagba and co. You know, so while that is very rare for an African-American, you know, to really embrace his culture, like really embrace his culture, you know, look, uh, you know, trace his roots and embrace it. He's wanting to say, I'm from Nigeria, I'm from this tribe in Nigeria. He's wanting to embrace it. He's wanting to want to know about yourself. Warren knows about himself. You might have everything negative to say about the guy, but never say this guy don't know who he is. He does know who he is. And he's trying to research it, do more research on himself. And he's got my respect because a lot of the African Americans that I know today, let's say 30% uh, of them, you know, are just trapped in the white, man, in the white man's world and are happy with it. You know, uh, they prefer the identity, the slave identity that they have. Water sees himself as a warrior, and water being from the great, the center of the great beginning kingdom, it means water for fathers were warriors. Because, like I said before the other day in the video, our great Oba of Benin did not sell it for people to the Europeans. So, guys, like the video, share, subscribe, and please always support the channel. I want to say big shout out to Deontay Water for doubling down, uh, for for putting uh, you know his culture, uh, the people on the map. And him really showing, being, being, being passionate about his roots is just like, he excites me a lot. I mean, I've, I've, I've never seen an African-American uh, passionate about their roots like this, like he is. And it is something to behold. Stay blessed, guys. Cheers.